Testing. All right, I'm back with the Destiny 2 video, uh, doing a weekly reset update because we are early in the season and new things are still happening each week to a certain extent. Uh, season of Defiance is probably going to be a little shorter than others, but it's a very strong season, I think, so far. Um, we knew we were going to get more Battlegrounds, as they told us that ahead of time, and while some people are sick of Battlegrounds, I think Battlegrounds can be good if handled correctly, and I do enjoy these Battlegrounds, I would say more than most other Battlegrounds so far, uh, with the kind of enemy density, the different uh, mechanics going in and out of the Ascendant Plane, the boss fights are pretty dynamic, you're moving around these arenas, and then today's is pretty interesting. Um, I'm showing here, like, the base level of it, so this is the, the easy version, except when I fall to my death, uh, with poor planning in the Ascendant Plane. Um, and then the other versions of Champions, and they're minus five power, so it's it's a little harder there. This one takes place aboard a prison ship, so it is not, um, I mean, you start in the farm, but you just sort of get teleported out into the into space, <laughs> and you run through a Cabal ship. Um, I mean, it's, it's reused in the sense that, like, we've been on a bunch of Cabal ships, but this seems to be kind of you know, concocted in a new way. Like, you're not just rerunning the first campaign mission of Lightfall or something. Like, this is a, a new space. There's a, a boss arena that is maybe a little less mobile than the other one, but I think it's good. I think it's a, a good series of battlegrounds that we've got this time around. This is the last one. And, uh, interestingly, you know, the, the Defiance storyline is pretty solid, I think. Um, Bungie's doing something interesting where they're They've set up the storyline to be a bit of a contrast between Guardians and then everyone else who doesn't have light, which is not that many people in the Destiny universe, but they've kind of grouped a lot of them together. We have Mithrax, who is Elixni and does not have the lights, as, you know, <laughs> no Elixni do, unlike the Lucent Hive, which they're not bitter about at all. Uh, and then we have Amanda Holiday, and we have Devrim. Devrim returning for the first time since Destiny 1. Same voice actor, uh, he's back, and we have this, Crow is in the storyline too, and there's this sort of, it's like a kind of romance-ish, uh, I, I mean, it's not really a romance right now, it's essentially Crow profusely apologizing to Amanda Holiday for being Aldrin, and Amanda saying that she can't separate out the two of them, uh, which, you know, I guess is understandable, but there, it really does seem like they're kind of pushing for some sort of romantic angle there, which is is interesting to see. Sure, a lot of people, maybe that's that's not the ship they would have picked, <laughs> but uh, it does appear to be happening, and it's it's interesting, and I'm curious to see how it develops. Uh, this this week we had some a couple interesting story things where there's this little like in in game engine scene on the farm where like Mithrax and Amanda are like drinking after a mission, and like I made a joke about drunk Mithrax, and like he doesn't really do anything. That indicates he's drunk, but he's holding a little glass, and I just thought it was funny. Uh, we do get an Amanda Holiday cutscene where I don't like I don't know if we've necessarily like learn anything crazy or new here. Like we we sort of knew Amanda's deal and like different bits of lore in the past. She came to the last city as a refugee, where she's kind of you know relating that to Mithrax, uh, and then um, it's just a little cutscene that shows you know, how she became a pilot and is contributing to the war in her own way after meeting the Vanguard, even though she is not a Guardian and, you know, just has one life to live. And, like, I don't know exactly what they're saying here. Like, there's just all these little comments, like, Crow asked Devrim to go out and patrol, and Devrim's like, bro, I don't have a Guardian. I can't be resurrected. I'm going to stay in the church where it's relatively safe. Uh, and Crow's like, oh, right, yeah, I forgot. Sorry. Um, I, I, I'm not quite sure what, like, the point is they're trying to make here, other than these people are, like, dramatically risking their lives, whereas, like, we jump off the tower to our death for fun. Uh, but it's, it's something that the story doesn't really touch on all that often, and I think it's interesting to, to, to dip into that a little bit. And, like, these, this is, like, a human story about characters that we know and appreciate, unlike Lightfall, which were these new characters, and Grumpy Osiris, and the Veil, and all this crap that didn't make sense. This seems like a, a what is now a traditional, coherent Destiny seasonal storyline, which I appreciate. Uh, I still have to read the lore books. I haven't done that yet. Um, 
Other than that, we have uh, a new change that they, they launched today. Um, <laughs> Saladin was showing up for some people. That's not the change. The change is that they have reduced commendations as a requirement for guardian rank. Uh, I don't know exactly what they've been reduced to, but I think they've at least been reduced by maybe 30 to 50%, depending on the level. Um, the 751 for rank 7, I think, is now somewhere around like 300. The 1251, I think, is around 800. Maybe it's 600. I'm not sure, but it's a lot less than it used to be, um, as I think everyone was lagging behind in most of these ranks uh, because of the accommodation requirement. I maintain the commendations should not be tied to anything, to anything. Uh, they should not be tied to Guardian rank, they should not be tied to a powerful drop, they should not be tied to weekly challenges, it should be an optional system where you're just doing it to be nice. And like, I get that they want people to engage with the system, this is not the way to do it. So like, this is better, like I, I got to rank 7 today because of this. Uh, looking ahead to rank 8, I just, I need to run some legend nightfalls and commend people there and then i gotta do the new raid which i haven't yet so i'm hoping to do that this week and i think that's kind of it i think i've done everything else everything else is like legendary campaign completions blah 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 and that stuff's retroactive so you don't have to do that again uh and then um i do like the little rank up ceremony they do in the tower that's pretty fun uh, where you turn gold and like you get the like buff and you can jump really high and I, it's a cool system. I just think guardian ranks themselves need work. You need to be detached from accommodations. Need to not reset every season as far as they do. Uh, that that needs some work there. Um, other than that, the one other new thing that you can do this week is the new uh, vex whatever it's called. I don't even. It's like the little Vex Neomuna mission that is actually pretty good. There was the time trial one and then there was like the Evade the Fortress one. Unfortunately, I can't do the new one because Nimbus is bugged and will not give me the new bounty. Um, last time when I did this, uh, they eventually gave me like there was a, there was this little screen that said like, oops, you dropped this and then they gave it to me. The, the shell code thing. I've tried to go back to them a few times now and I'm still not getting it. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. My Titan last week was the only character that could actively pick up that bounty. So maybe I can only do it on my Titan. There was also another step in the Vex Caliber quest. I Right now it just wants me to kill Vex rapidly with it. I assume I'm just going to have to do another run of the mission. I don't know if, it's, if it has to be a legend or not, but like the legend version of that is going to be no freaking joke. <laughs> um, because we are now, you know, 15 under power, and I think it has the fire team scaling, so you can't really even make it easier with fire team scaling. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not like super high in Vex Caliber, so I don't know if I care that much, but I, I'll try and get it done and see what happens. But um, I believe that's kind of everything for now. Uh, the um, we will still have some story developments week to week, but we've seen all the battlegrounds now, so there's nothing new in that regard. I am not expecting any like huge earth-shattering secrets to come, just kind of week to week story stuff. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to do some weekly things, try and figure out if I can get this shell code, and see what uh, happens after that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.